Hey, this is JB with Moss Epoxies, and today we're going to be repairing the non-skid on the aft deck of a 19-foot center console with flex mold. First step is to prep the surface, making sure that everything is smooth and clean. We'll tape everything off that we don't want new non-skid on. We'll make sure that we prep all surfaces we don't want any gel coat overspray on. And using paper and plastic, we'll do our cutouts for our non-skid. Then we'll mix up our first batch of gel coat, spray it on for a base on the surface so that we have a nice smooth surface to start with. making sure we don't have any contaminants or bubbles or um, dirt in that surface. As you can see, we've used plastic to protect everything. Then we'll roll out our non-skid for our first fit, our flex mold, to make sure everything's the way we want it. Cut back any excess, make sure it's the right shape for us. Then we'll prep the flex mold with PVA to ensure it doesn't stick to the gel coat that we put down. And here we're going to show you just a little test sample of what we're doing. We're going to take the flex mold with our gel coat and ensuring that we keep a little wave of gel coat out in front of the flex mold and you see how it fills the voids. That way we have no air entrapment or bubbles or voids. Then we take a very hard squeegee and we squeegee it nice and tight getting all the excess gel coat out from in between. That'll ensure we have no bubbles. Wait for that to set, peel it off, and we'll be good to go. Well, we've done our final cut, and now we're just going to make sure that everything lays in place. We lay out our pattern. We make sure it's nice and smooth, that there's nothing down that um, will get in the way of the gel coat, no air bubbles, no contaminants. We mix up our next set of gel coat using a Zon 2 cup. We make sure it's a 61 or 65 second run out on the cup. That's the viscosity that we need of that gel coat. We'll put the gel coat into a water bottle without the water in it, of course. Drill a hole in the cap, and that's a great way to get the gel coat onto the surface. And as we put down the flex mold, we'll just keep squirting the gel coat into the crease that between where it meets the surface and the flex mold. Then we'll take squeegees and squeegee out all the excess. And you'll see we're using a little bit of uh, talcum powder and some of the gel coat itself as a lubricant so that those squeegees run smoothly over that surface. And if it's a little cool when we're done, we can even take a heat gun and speed up the process. Not too hot. We don't want it to bubble up. When it sets, we pull off the flex mold and we have our beautiful non-skid left behind. If it isn't perfect, you can actually use some of the flex mold over again. It can be used again and again and again. Thanks for working with flex mold and we're here to help you. Use our 800 number and we'll walk you through it.